Welcome to Bond the Builder. My wife and I are in the process of building a container home. One of our major concerns is the heat that will build up during the summer months here in Texas. We needed to find some solution to insulate the containers. After doing some research on the internet, there are several options that seem like they might work well. One of these options is closed cell spray on foam. This is foam that is sprayed in between your studs after electric and plumbing are installed. With a container, we felt like it was important to stop the heat before it ever got to the metal. Insulating ceramic is the product we think will actually accomplish this and it's an additive that you add to almost any paint. There are two companies we found that sell this product. The first company is Insulad, and the other company is High Tech Thermal Solutions. If you would like to know more about these companies, here are their websites and contact information. The paint we used for our containers was Rust-Oleum Professional Grade Enamel, and it comes in the one gallon buckets. The product these companies provide seem to be identical in appearance and performance. This video is an experiment to actually see if this product works as advertised. To begin with, we purchased enough product from each company to be added to one gallon of paint respectively. As recommended, we mix the two products, meaning the ceramic and the paint, into a two and a half gallon bucket. To apply the product or the paint, we use the Wagner Flexio 590 sprayer. We painted the west facing side of our container to do our experiment. We felt it was the hottest during the summer months. For this experiment, we used no thinner. The paint was mixed straight with the ceramic and applied straight to the wall using the Wagner sprayer. A note in the instructions stresses that two layers or two coats of the product need to be applied to the surface. As you can see here, each stroke that I am making, I am overlapping by half the previous stroke in order to get that double coat or double layer. You will notice that there is no overspray. Therefore, I am not wearing a respirator as long as I am outside in a well-ventilated area. I really enjoyed using this sprayer. It seemed to work really well for this kind of application. This simplified diagram is an attempt to illustrate the concept or theory of our experiment. Since the purpose of the ceramic additive is to reflect and deflect the heat, taking a heat reading on the outside would be a double reading, the heat and the reflected heat, giving a false reading. Therefore, all our readings will be on the inside, giving what we believe to be a truer, more accurate reading. As depicted here, the first 10 feet has been applied with Insulad, the next 10 feet with high-tech thermal solutions. The remaining 20 feet was left untreated as a control area for comparison. Unfortunately for our experiment, our hot summer months had passed. It is now October, but we still have some results to share with you. Here are some readings starting with the control area. You will notice that there is a variation in the temperatures that are taken. This occurs especially in the untreated or control area. This occurs because the angle of the sun faces some of the surfaces more directly than others, causing the heat difference.
It is important for you to know that we are not endorsing either one of these products. This video is merely our experience conducting our own personal experiment. You decide and make your own judgment. Thank you for joining Bond the Builder. We hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Also check us out on containerhomebuild.com. Please remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and select us as a favorite.